to we used to have baboons <laughs> in my university yeah and they have this red part on the behind yeah <laughs> so the, the the baboon does not see its red part it sees the other person's yeah. part yeah and then it laughs you know look at you look yeah. at you hi guys my name is dretti and my name is james and this is the authentic adventist home and today we are going to be talking about five tips on how to get yourself ready for a relationship. So make sure you stay tuned. To this video now mm -hmm. getting yourself ready <laughs> even getting yourself ready to get out of the house is uh, usually such a challenge yeah. <laughs> but uh, today we're talking about getting yourself ready for our relationship hey it is such a huge thing getting yourself into a relationship a romantic relationship as per se uh, it is it is a huge step yeah, because and you, it impacts mm, everything you are, it mm, impacts your the way your life is going to be. Yeah. So you want to you want to make the best decision and the best step and mm -hmm. the best changes. So let's get into the first point. Yeah, so number one, mm -hmm. um we've always been talking about uh seek, seeking to develop yourself because you attract who you are right yeah so number one is to seek to be a godly person yeah you should make sure that you seek godliness yeah and there's a verse in first timothy chapter 4 verse 8 that i read to you that says for bodily exercise profited little don't be intimidated by the king james version that i'm reading from <laughs> i will explain for bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of life that now is, and of that which is to come. Amen. So the first point, as you have seen, is talking about seeking to be a godly person because yeah. The things that we do to prepare, we have spoken about some things in previous videos that sometimes it's easy as we are preparing for uh, a certain season in our life, like getting into a relationship, mm. having a, a child. It's easy to uh, only focus on the physical things, yeah, true. right? But there are things that profit a lot, not yeah. just for this life, but the life to come. Yeah. So as you seek for God, he transforms you to um, to be like him, right? True. And the person that you attract at that point when God brings that wonderful person in your life, he brings someone who has also been worked on. Yeah, amen. Because God is not going to put you with something, someone who um, is not seeking godliness and yet you are seeking to be like him, right? True, true. And God is not going to allow... They, they will come on your... They will come by. They will come by, yes. Mm -hmm. You'll find them coming and see, seeking you, but that's not God's plan. Yeah, yeah, that's not God's plan. Yeah. And, you know, just like the way you said, you talked of something uh, about... Forgive my pregnancy brain, guys. <laughs> if I don't say a point immediately, it's like it just runs away. Yeah. But uh, I think you talked about something about uh, seeking to be godly, a godly person, yeah. and uh, about how. Hey, my brain. You know, sometimes we focus on the physical things. Yes, the physical <laughs> things. You know, it's the same thing like with 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 even like in um, before you get into a relationship. Right. If you watch videos in the world, they will usually tell you, "Banange." Hey, banange is an expression from Uganda. I grew I grew up in Uganda, so my Ugandan people, you understand. I'm sorry if you're not a Ugandan. It's just an expression. Uh, yeah, like many people will be like, make sure you. Uh, you know have a savings account make sure which are all great things right like make sure you have your finances together career world da, 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 da. but then when it comes to like character 
development and all these things and self-development and godliness which is something that will profit you forever people barely speak about such things right. so that is something that will really 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 take you to the next level so seek seek godliness for real mm-hmm. yeah seek to be a godly person yeah right. and the next one is trusting the leading of god you know there is a verse from proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 that says trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto the, thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths mm-hmm. we all know this verse uh, but then <laughs> it's usually a hard thing to live by for most of us yeah. you know but trust in the lord trust that you know as you get yourself ready he is preparing you he is preparing the person uh, for you like trust trust god with the process so trust is 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 such an important thing as you are preparing yourself for a relationship yeah and god will not lead you astray mm. uh, he says that um like the psalmist david said that your word is a lamp unto, unto my, my feet. feet and a lamp unto my path right True. so if you seek god number one and um uh, you know i trust in his leading because you have sought him He's going to lead you in the right direction. Amen. And also learn how to communicate well, guys. That's something that I had to do. Um, <laughs> the hard way also. Yeah. In a relationship mostly. Yeah. yeah because, Communication yeah, is something that is so important. And mm-hmm. if you know that this is your weakness or even work on your weaknesses, right? We're just touching. We can't touch on everything today, but we're touching on some of the things. Exactly. And communication as most people say is key and if you if you if you don't communicate what your expectations are and all these things it's going to be very hard for the other person to know because no one is a mind reader you know like no one is it's only god who knows what is in our hearts and minds but he can't tell what is in my mind and i can't tell what is in his mind so work on your communication skills yeah you yeah. know even god says that um i mean we should pray right mm. we always sing uh read your bible pray every day pray yeah. every day pray every day yeah read your bible pray, pray every, every day, day if you want to, to grow, grow right mm-hmm. god can read your heart and read your mind but he also requires you to tell him things right True. why because it draws you to him True. And you also read the Bible. So it's a communication, right? Yeah, you communication him, builds relationships. Right, yeah. right. So something else mm. is... This mm-hmm. one is very important. Yes, yeah. say it. Learn to be other focused. Why? <laughs> because you are... I don't know how old you are. Maybe 25. For 25 years, you have been practicing selfishness. You know? Like... Yes. Yeah, it, it's, it's sadly it's <laughs> Because true. in singleness, even what we advise is to focus on on, on, on learning more about yourself and focus yeah, on God, take right? Take yourself so out. So <laughs> we, we won't say selfishness as per se of like you yeah. don't care about people around you, but all you have known you have been focusing is, is, is just yourself. Yeah. How to take care of yourself. There is no like, unless you have like a family member or whatever to take care of. Mm-hmm you don't really have any responsibility of thinking of another person or like okay i know guys we do think of people i'm not saying when you're single you don't think of people or any of these things but like most of it is like you you do what you want when you want you like want to sleep you sleep you, sleep. you want to wake up you, you wake, wake up, up. You want to make a decision yeah like it's <laughs> been just you by yourself yeah. with your life so now there is this other human being who is trying to attach themselves in your life. You're yeah. like, ah, how are you? Yeah. You know? Uh, and so, if you're working on something, they have to support you, right? Yeah. You're, he, they are working on something, you have to be there to support them. Yeah. If You have to make sacrifices. You have to think of the other person. So yeah. that's something you have to So do. So basically train your mind to not just be focused on self, but mm-hmm. to be focused on others you may not have that person in your life at that point yet yeah. but you can learn how to focus on the other person yeah. you know like focus on the people around you you know um maybe take care of a sibling 
your parents i don't know someone just practice it on your friends learn to be more focused on other people rather than self yeah you know i am saying i, I use the word selfish it's not just in you know in single mm. people even like people in relationships yeah. and married we struggle with that right mm. and we are reading this book i think it's patriarchs and prophets we were reading the story of creation and it was talking of it's it there's this statement that really threw me off and it said that it's only the selfish heart of man that lives for itself you know what i mean like mm. every other creature created by god is selfless mm. you find that um the trees there's a way they 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 uh, they enrich the soil you know they provide shade they like they are selfless they're eaten All by animals an animal selfless. the other animal is yeah like there is there is a whole cycle but the then us system. yeah we have to like be put in a situation <laughs> where we have to learn how to be selfless yeah right? yeah and yeah. christ one of the biggest characters of christ is he he gave up his life he which is so life. selflessness is a huge thing yeah. you know so it's something to be worked on right. and in uh philippians chapter 2 verses 4 it says look not every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others mm -hmm. so don't just be focused on self you know i know there's a whole thing of self-love and whatnot we're not saying hate yourself we're not yeah. um, against no your value but yeah. don't we're not so against yeah we're not against loving who god has made you to be and taking care of yourself but also be focused on others right yeah and, and and i know we always say you know you can't love others if you don't love yourself yes love who god has made you to be mm -hmm. true you know but also love others love the people around you so right. yeah yeah and the last point is look within and not, not without, without. Yeah. On that. the bible has something to say about this mm. Um, Jesus was speaking and he said do not uh, like not do not remove the log you have from your eye before you go and remove the speck from the other person's eye right mm. when you look at a, a log and a speck a speck is such a small thing as compared to the log yeah meaning that you know it's so easy to see other um, some someone else right yeah. there is a saying in swahili for all those who know swahili that says nyani i think nyani haoni kundule meaning that you see those um, baboons i used to we used to have baboons <laughs> in my university yeah and they have this red part on the behind yeah <laughs> so the, the the baboon does not see its red part it sees the other person's yeah. part yeah and then it laughs, you know, look at you, look <laughs> at you. And yet it also has it. <laughs> and maybe even his is bigger <laughs> or worse, right? So <laughs> it's so easy to see Sorry other guys people. for my ugly laughter, but... <laughs> no, it's a beautiful laughter, I love it. So it's so easy to see what other people are doing, how they present themselves. <laughs> and yet, if you were to look at yourself, <laughs> you would realize that you would not You're even terrible. say anything about anybody yeah. else yeah and also the, what this helps with is um you you end up being able to like know what to work on yourself yeah and when you enter into a relationship you're not so criticizing and you enter into an attitude where you realize that you know i'm not perfect, perfect. i have so many faults so that when your partner points something out out you don't take you it defensively right spirit, you have yeah. a humble spirit and you say okay you know what at the end of the day i have this defect let's sit and see how we can deal with it right true. other than oh even you you're like this you know like mm. that defensive mode right true true yeah. and also something that comes to mind when we think of look within and not without i know mm. uh, uh this kind of may not be it but it, it makes me think of it is uh, about working from the inside out 
Right. You know, many of us, when we are preparing ourselves for a relationship, we are always focused on the outside. Ah, presentation, which is oh, an amazing yeah. thing. Like, oh, what am I going to wear? I must make yeah. sure <laughs> the hair, the what, all these things. And by the way, if you see my wonderful hair, yeah, the hair oil, you can now. Uh, yeah. I, I do a side thing of selling hair oil, so you can contact me yeah. and I'll be able to sell it to you. It's beautiful <laughs> inside out. Eh? <laughs> Uh -huh. thank you honey yeah. but yeah so don't don't just focus on the outside because i remember there was a stage in my life where mm -hmm. i was just so focused on my outside yeah i would make sure i dress they said dress to kill is it yeah oh kill. my dears don't slay, kill don't slay. Kill. no 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 you know no don't do those things instead work on your inside and then from your inside comes out i'll make a whole video on modesty and when you actually learn about modesty you realize that it's not about uh, wearing long things or wearing things up to here or whatever covering up or yeah, wearing it's the, about the, the heart, heart. Yeah. and from the heart that humble spirit comes out into the things that you wear into the mm -hmm. way you hold yourself into your you the way you present yourself so ladies and even gentlemen Instead of just yeah. focusing on that suit and that, eh? mm -hmm. you have realized that uh, I fell in love with my husband when he looked like a farmer. If you haven't watched our love story, and please go watch it. Are, are you know? out, eh? Yeah, so <laughs> you know, like uh, I yeah. fell in love with him despite his outside, whatever, and because I knew he had a gem inside him, mm -hmm. and that's what those are things you can't change. Let me tell you, there are things you can't change in a relationship, mm -hmm. like someone's inside you know but those are things you can change yeah can those are them, things yeah. only god can change but i knew that he was someone who was humble so even yeah. if i told him babe i think we should change your wardrobe he would accept but now if you had a an, an issue inside you and you come and yeah and you come being even if the best dressed yeah. it will be a huge problem That's so true. so guys don't just focus on without but focus within mm -hmm. as well. Focus on your character, focus on self-development, and we cannot speak on these things enough because these are the most important things. Mm -hmm. You're making an investment into the future, you're making an investment in yourself. So we can continue talking and talking and talking, mm -hmm. but we'll end here. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Yeah. Make sure you comment what you have learned or what you enjoyed. Um, and share with your friends yeah. and not just your friends anyone you see just share with them yeah so share it on your benefit. story your status uh you know post about it it will enable us to reach as many people as possible mm -hmm. on this channel we share about homemaking marriage family uh you know parenting when we get kids all these things everything right. to do with the home we share about relationships and uh you know singleness and all these different things so yeah please check out and there'll be a playlist on singlehood mm. and marriage and all of that as we continue but we hope you guys have enjoyed this and we hope it is a blessing to you may god bless you until next, next time, time. Bye bye, -bye. <laughs>